Hi, I'm Tressa Andrews and I'm the interim director here at Trinity Episcopal Preschool. And we have been working with EFRONS, um, which is the Eastern Regional Association for Nature-Based and for Schools. And we've been collaborating with them to design and um, implement our outdoor classroom. So today we're going to give you a tour of the different aspects of the outdoor classroom and share with you some of our goals. Hi, so this is our first section. This is called the music and arts section. So we have recyclable palettes that the Boy Scout troop has made and also a parent has made one of them, but it's out of recyclable materials so that obviously it's earth friendly um, and the children get to play the music on any of these um, palettes. And then also the sidewalk and um, will also be another opportunity for them to do artwork. There, we're gonna have a three-way easel um, that they can actually design. It'll probably be in this area um, at the end of the walkway. So they'll be able to paint. Um, they'll also be able to do artwork using various nature aspects that we would have with the loose parts. And this is the area um, where we will be planting garden vegetables, herbs, all kinds of flowers. Um, we originally had five years ago, we had a 12 foot by 12 foot by 12 foot um, garden here. We broke it down um, because we're going to make a garden bed that's a little bit larger, but it's also gonna be more accessible for the children. So there's going to be parts where they come out from the fence. So. Along the fence line is going to be the back of the garden and then there's going to be three like prongs that come out where they can actually get in between them and plant um, the various vegetables. Our goal for having the garden was originally to be able to harvest um, the vegetables and actually donate them over to ACTC as well as share with um, the children about eating healthy. So. We want to continue that aspect of it and we also want to make sure that we are remembering the memorial area. So this area is going to be the construction zone, which we're going to obviously trim down the tree a little. Um, we're also going to put, this will probably be what it would mostly look like. So the area that is a semicircle will have stones in it, um, as well as tires lining it to like kind of, um, barrier it off um, but they'll have trucks and they'll have all different kinds of um, construction type of materials for them to play with um, and all kinds of different cars and vehicles but this area would be um, the construction zone so this area is the meeting area where a lot is going to happen so underneath the pergola which was graciously built um, by the Eagle Scouts. They built this, so what we're gonna use this for is like experiments or any kind of circle time or stories. We're gonna have um, logs with bark on them that are going to like enclose the area. And then on the ground, we're gonna have a stone type floor. And we're also going to plant honeysuckle, uh, coral honeysuckle that'll eventually grow up the poles and over the top. But in the meantime, we're probably going to do some kind of um, covering, a light covering, so that way if we are out here and the weather is um, raining or something like that, we can still utilize this area. So this area that is like catty corner to the gate um, is going to have native plants and bushes, as well as along most of the lines of the fences are going to have um, native plants that are going to attract pollinators, that are going to help the garden grow a lot better. But this area right here is where we're gonna have a lot of plants growing here. And then over here, this whole entire section would be more like a dramatic play area. So over in this corner, we're going to have a pallet house. Um, we're all about recycling. So we have plenty of pallets. Um, a parent is going to actually create this and it gives them a chance to either do, they can do a puppet theater or they can um, actually interact like they would indoors, but with more natural items. 
So this area is going to be our mud kitchen, which who doesn't love mud? <laughs> so we're gonna have like a little mud pit that we're going to incorporate a circle. It's gonna have mud in it that they will have access to. We're gonna have a rain barrel that'll collect some natural rainwater so they'll have access to that as well. Um, this is the mud kitchen that a parent built for us. Obviously it looks very bare, but we're gonna add all the pots and pans to the back. We're gonna clean it up and this will be an exciting, probably one of the main focus areas that they're gonna be drawn to because who doesn't like to cook and play with mud? So over here is going to be more of a sand area and a water play area. We're gonna have different, um, different toys for them to actually um, weigh water and measure water. And then there's gonna be like tires that have sand in them individually so it's more COVID safe and so they have their own area and space. We're also going to have, which is a huge feature, in this whole entire area, now that we moved the garden and we took the table out, we're gonna create a climbing area. It's, it's really important that they learn to be risk takers safely because there's ways to do it, but it, it helps them gain independence. So we're probably gonna have an eight foot log. We're also gonna have tree stumps um, to where that they can learn how to balance and they can learn how to, um, like I said, take risk, which is an important part of growing up and to not be afraid, so. So this aspect is probably one of my favorite areas because this is going to be a meditation prayer area, specifically in honor and memorial to Lisa, our former director who passed. And she was all about science. She was all about the butterflies. She was all about nature. And that's why it was so important to create an area where you could come and you can sit and you can observe nature and, um, Pray if you need to, but this area right now needs a lot of love. So we are going to get rid of all these weeds. Um, we had to reseed the ground. We're gonna put in natural habitat, which means we're gonna have like native plants in here. We're gonna have water plants back there because the water tends to flood that area, but that's, we're gonna utilize that area. Um, we're gonna have these benches that we're gonna redo and they are gonna be everywhere throughout here. We're gonna have a pathway through the grass, um, but it is more of a spiritual area that the children can come out and observe nature, but it's mostly for adults, the church, the community, um, for the teachers, for anybody that really needs a moment to just really get in touch with nature and just um, to have some peace.